Hey everybody and welcome back to We the Revolution. We catch back up with uh Matthew. That's surely not how you say that in French. Um but let's just call him Matthew for for just ease. Matthew Burrell. Tragically, we are losing control of the streets. People feel betrayed by the king, and some believe him to be a spy trying to elude justice. Special means are recommended when suppressing unrest. We only need an opinion from the judges to make sure we are working legally. Um, okay, so we have to... You're asking us to say that you're doing things by the book. Is that it? In other words, you, words, you need their blessing to shoot at protesters. People can't control their emotions and are hurting other citizens as a result. Look at the windows. Well, I do see, now that you mention it, the windows are broken out. Next time, they might do something worse than just throw rocks. It pains us to see unrest growing in the streets of Paris. Commander-in-Chief Burrell has informed us that the Guard is no longer able to control the situation through peaceful means. It is recommended that he be allowed to use more immediate methods to protect the innocent civilians. But we would like to know the Tribunal's opinion on the matter... I approve of the National Guard's use of force against ruffians ruining the capital. You know, that's a that's a touchy one. If they're actually out there harming people, then yes, we should stop them. If they're just um just marching around, maybe a few broken windows, then maybe we don't want to escalate it by by firing on people. Um But you know what? If if it's gotten to that like, if they're actually harming people, then I guess we have to do what we have to do to protect people. Uh, the innocents, then. Accept it. The guard is tasked with protecting innocents from those who are unable to control their behavior. I approve of greater freedom in the use of the National Guard. This is probably going to really come back to bite us. Um, oh, sign it. There we go. Put our stamp on it. Done. Let's hope it's not too late to stop this madness. Well, Godspeed, Matthew. That's an interesting euphemism for musket fire. The mob wanted to act as both judge and jury against again and hang people from the street, uh, from the street lamps. Poor Richard was almost hanged, or poor Pochard, who's Pochard, was almost hanged. Pochard. Claude Pochard? Exactly. The beloved tutor of your Frederic. You had to dismiss him after the incident with the oath of the clergy, did you not? I have no idea what you're talking about, Raymond. Yes, Frederic tells me from time to time that he misses his teacher. Well, at least we saved our boy's former teacher. What are you doing? The trial is about to begin. Oh, our family's here. It's about Monsieur Pochard. Yes, Frederic, we know. News travels fast. He's been accused of counter-revolutionary activities. You know him. It can't be true. It's not so simple. Leave before someone hears us. Papa, please. Go home. Think about the family, at least for once. Papa. Are you Pochard? Alright, let's see what we got here. Compiled by Nathan de Isserloff. Yes, this is Pochard. Claude Pochard, a 26-year-old vicar and tutor, son of a cobbler. That's a lot of identities. Uh, believes in Enlightenment ideals. After refusing to adjure the civil constitution of the clergy, he was removed from his parish, prohibited from carrying out his duties, and sentenced to banishment. Despite this, he stayed in Paris and continued to work as a tutor, which he started uh, before 1789. Okay, so he was a Catholic and the Protestant Revolution came through with the Enlightenment. Well, I don't know. Like, I don't understand the civil constitution of the clergy. What does that mean? I don't have an understanding of what that means. But he was disliked. He was supposed to be banished. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Not that yet. Um, supposed to be banished, but he wasn't. He was still in the city working as a tutor. Bouchard was captured in the streets by fortuitous circumstances. 
A guard officer present during his trial a few months ago recognized him and didn't hesitate to act. Following an investigation, Pochard was accused of spying and spreading counter-revolutionary propaganda in order to prepare a foreign intervention that would end the revolution. Correspondence with Archbishop Jean Arsène de Betul was found in a room Pochard had been renting from Marie Guimet. In it, the clergyman asked for information about the unrest and the supporters of the monarchy in hiding. Riches were also found, a golden chalice, and a reliquary. That's page 101. Page 2 of 2, or 1 of 2, 2 of 2. Moreover, the director of one of the orphanages Claude taught in testified that the tutor would question the law of the revolution in front of the students, stating that it was less important than the laws handed down by God. And there's evidence. A letter to Claude Pochard. Dear Claude, remember to stay strong in your faith and complete your duties with dignity. Tell me how our brothers in faith are doing, as well as the church in these desperate times. I mean, you can't convict a man for doing, like, his, like, believing his religious beliefs. As long as he wasn't, like, actively harming anybody. And again, maybe, uh, maybe questioning the law of the revolution is considered harming somebody, but that's, uh, that's a thought crime, not an out-and-out, -out, like, he wasn't actually conspiring to hurt people. So, the common folk want him killed. The revolutionaries want him in prison. And my family wants him acquitted. Well, let's see. Uh, Pochard, what, what can you tell me? Please introduce yourself. Monsieur le juge, you know me. No, we don't. Do not speak about our past, like, acquaintanceship. We should be impartial here, sir. State your personal information or there will be consequences. There you go. Just stop trying to badger me and try to goad me into, into, you know, siding your way. That's the word. Bad Pochard, Monsieur le Juge. You stand accused of spying for the counter revolutionaries and criticizing, criticizing the existing order. Do you admit to these crimes? I am innocent. The accusation is exaggerated and comes from the ill will of the accusers. It's probably true. Suggesting that the revolutionary government is acting in ill will a tip, is typical of a priest. Okay. I guess we have to do the whole thing with the. Uh, with the questions, huh? Forgot about that. Course of events, accusation, counter-revolution, evidence, offender's personality. Letter from the Archbishop? That's definitely evidence, right? Done. Church riches? Um, also evidence. Spreading propaganda? That's your accusation. Oh, we're, we're really rolling now. Parish priest? That's a, your personality. Banishment? That's a course of events. That happened in the past. Done. Tutor? There's no, uh... I was, I was pointing at my screen like you can see what I'm talking about. But <laughs> there's no, there's no traps. So tutor is offender's personality. There you go. Espionage. Accusation. Boom. Spreading propaganda? That's a counter-revolutionary act if I ever heard of one. All questions unlocked. So we can ask these questions to lead the jury in certain directions. Can I see my relationship? The revolutionaries is pretty low. So if I anger the revolutionaries, they want him, well they just want him imprisoned. So if I acquitted him, the revolutionaries might dislike me a little bit but not too badly the high f the common folk would dislike me a lot less um, but they I already have a good relationship with them right now so we may press for acquittal but let's see what we got here what do you teach some of the witness what information did the accused manage to convey 
What stipend does the accused receive as a teacher? Why did the accused continue teaching instead of leaving France? Or did the accused celebrate masses despite the ban? Oh, and some more stuff. The accused travels extensively around Paris department. To what end? Why did the accused stay in France despite being banished? Okay, so there's, you can say this and influence them towards execution, but you can say the same thing and kind of lean it towards, like, why did you stay in France? And that's a bad, we can like twist it to be a bad thing, or we can say, why did you continue teaching? And kind of twist it towards a good thing. So this thing about celebrating masses leads me to believe that it might be related to, again, he's a, a Catholic or Jesuit, and we kind of told them they had to get out. There would be no more Catholicism. I don't know. So what do you teach, sir? The caregivers in orphanages only pay for reading and writing lessons. So why did the accused teach children that God's law stands above that of the Republic? He spreads superstition and counter-revolutionary propaganda. This is a misunderstanding. The children I, children I teach are unable to understand such complicated matters. The accused explanation further incriminates him. If they are unable to understand the topic, why would he even discuss it at all? The church spreads ignorance and takes our money. I was only answering questions from the director of the orphanage in... Gombiens, I hear that the God's loss, I said that God's loss stood above my banishment. It is God's law that prohibits me from leaving the country. I have a duty to help those in need. Okay, well tell me about that more. Why did you continue? Tell me more about that. Why did you continue to teach instead of leaving France? My duty is to help others. If I'm unable to help as a priest, I want to at least share some of my knowledge. Your knowledge is Catholic propaganda. There you go. So more about banishing Catholics. I prefer the term Catholic values. All right, we're leading. This is the the jury is leaning more towards letting him go. If we continue to push that, the accused travels extensively around Paris. What are you doing? I teach whenever or wherever I can find students. Doing that requires time and effort. I admit. Is that what you, why you received gold from your fellow conspirators abroad? He travels around France to spy on people, says the jury. The only money, maybe this isn't the jury. Maybe this is, uh, these must be the jury, because they're over here. This is the rabble rouser, just kind of, you know, the spectators. The only money I see comes from my students' caregivers. Is not at all immodest. Um... So where did the riches found in your room come from? They were liturgical accoutrements. I saved them from the plunder of the church in Campon. I would rather go hungry than to sell them. Fanatic! Thief! Says the rabble rousers in the background in the peanut gallery. Peddler of superstition! Okay, so, um... Summon the witness, I guess. Because there's not anything else I can say that is uh it's beneficial to him this is the most beneficial thing i can do everything else is like kill him some of the witness hello ma'am citizen what is your name marie gimme was the witness aware that she was renting a room to an unsworn catholic priest or did the accused maintain extensive correspondence so here we make a we turn it around on her and it's like we kind of slander him by calling him an unsworn catholic priest but we turn it around and say did you do it were, were you aware or did the accused maintain extensive correspondence this may lead to more questions about who he's communicating with. So maybe we try to push it on her. And if she's afraid, maybe she won't, uh, she won't testify against him. Was the witness aware that she was renting a room to an unsworn Catholic priest? You better tell the truth or we will deal with you next. Do not intimidate the witness. 
Please do tell us, citizen. I mean, I think by asking our question, we were pretty intimidating. I didn't know he was a priest. He never wore a cassock. So how was I supposed to know? He wanted a room? I gave him a room. So he hid that fact from you? He dressed normally, so maybe he did. I don't know. Oh, went up a little bit. Did he pay rent on time, or did he ever criticize the revolution and its accomplishments? So, but, I mean, was he a good tenant? Did he pay his rent on time? Sometimes I had to threaten to kick him out, but eventually he would always pay. So the accused did not strike you as a person who has a substantial amount of money to operate with or spend freely. Oh, there you go. So that's a good twist. We said that, oh, he was a rich man, that all these rich people, uh, counter-revolutionary people were giving him money. But if he wasn't even able to pay his, like, room and board, um, I guess mostly the room, then, uh, then he's not a rich man, right? No, we live like a poor man. I mean, a normal fellow would never get rich from teaching. Well, there you go. Ooh, we have to ask one of these questions. Oh, no, it dropped way down. I didn't notice. We dropped way down. So even if we ask one of these questions, that may keep him in the, uh... We may help our family out. Why did the accused stay in France? What information did the accused manage to convey to Archbishop? What stipend does the accused receive as a teacher? Did the accused celebrate masses despite the man? No, let's tell us about that money situation. We're on on a money question roll here, so let's keep rolling. How much are you receiving, sir? Two francs a week? But most people give me food instead. Bread, butter, sometimes wine. Does it not bother you that the poor people have to take food from their children to give it to you? Of course it bothers me, but I too have to eat. He keeps gold under his bed and still takes food from the poor. We demand an explanation. Where does the gold come from? Is it not from your fellow conspirators abroad? Of course not. It belongs to the parish in Compom, which is currently under my care. This gold is not my property. Ooh, we have to ask you more questions. Not great. Um... Why are you talking with the Archbishop? What information did the accused manage to convey? None. I have no connection with the Archbishop. Why would he be interested in a parish priest's help? What about your letters? We have it in your files. You received instructions from the Archbishop. Pope's dog. Behead the traitor. It's a simple letter, not instruction. And it is not from the Archbishop, but from my parish priest in Campalm, Jean Arsène Serreto. Where is he now? I know only that he planned to leave for Switzerland. He may have changed his mind. That is why I never thought to respond to the letter. But a coincidence. Archbishop de Brutul currently resides in Switzerland. It is indeed a coincidence. Many clergymen reside in Switzerland. Who believes that? Oh. We have to still keep asking questions, huh? Like, we can't just, like, sign off right now? I guess we could. Can we just do it right now? I didn't know we could do that. Can I just... I thought we had to keep asking questions. Let's see. Can we answer these questions? Did the defendant confess? No. Was his act kind of revolutionary in nature? Um, no. Were valuables seized? What valuables were seized? A golden chalice and some reliquaries? Were the traitors whom the defendant was... Cor where were the traitors? In Switzerland. So maybe we shouldn't ask one of those questions. Because that pushed them over into a uh, prison term. But I think we are still going to see if we can s submit a verdict early. And I think we want to go for acquittal. That means we are slightly at risk of being removed from office. And slightly at risk of death. <laughs> but you know what? We make our family happy. Trial's over. Stamp it. Innocent. Sign it, please. Oh, judge's signature. We sign there. We're done. Judgment for Claude Pochard is not guilty. Take the defendant away. Are you mad? You should both be killed. 
How can you set the agent of the Pope free? And does it matter what we have to say? You better take us into account in the future. Oh. So you said his, his stuff was counter-revolutionary. I didn't deem it to be so, but whatever. Enemy at the courthouse. The jury noticed you were making the wrong choices and foregoing justice. The rumor spread fast. Uh, so we got a little bit of everything down. That may have been bad news for us, honestly. I didn't realize that we could just end the trial whenever we wanted. But I know that for next time now. Should have done it when they thought he was innocent. Oh. Hello, hanged man. Hello, person running away. Is it someone we know? Is this that someone we know? Traitor. Yeah, you don't have to give me the uh, subtitles. I can pretty much guess that that's what that means. Oh, my. One fool spewed out one word too many. The other fired a musket. They fought for freedom. Oh, if we each for their own. If we hadn't assigned that thing that said you could shoot them, maybe that would have went differently. Man. Hard to forget. He asked me if I'd seen his wife. He found his son. The freedom we borrowed from the wealthy and the noble. We believed it was worth the price. He was judged by people long devoid of their freedom. The only things they knew were dust and sweat and anger. Not a not a very nice time around the uh the old dinner table today. Can't happen to notice our, our wife is missing. We made a nice profit. There was a chance of prosperity. Are you telling a story, father? Why would the Renaud family want to take over your shop, Grandpapa? Oh, they think that we are in league with the nobles and some some commoners came and took our stuff. Is that it? For profit and power, it's always the same and it's no different in these times. Today is about equality so that not only the aristocrats can live with dignity. So, Bernard, you're all in on the whole revolution thing, huh? Grow up, boy. I only saw the truth when they attempted to sentence my son, your uncle, to death. It suddenly dawned on me that the only thing that mattered were the power I never had and the connections I never cared for. You wanted to be righteous while the injustice spread like a plague. You should not be sorry for that. Okay. I'm not, but I would rather your brother lived so that I still had two sons. So our brother was killed. You have a brother, Daddy? Where is he? Um, he's dead, Frederick. He died a long time ago, before you were born. Why did he die? Don't ask these questions, son. See, yeah, do not talk so much while eating. Your uncle went to war and died in battle. Your generation will soon realize the extent of the damage we inflicted upon the world. In the past, decent people like Pochard never had to worry about the courts or tribunals, but now... Do you even consider the possibility that Pochard was guilty? No, not Mr. Pochard. He was no guiltier than any of us. Son, keep an eye on the Reynards. Okay, so the Reynards are bad people. At least they don't like our family. Um, We can work on tomorrow's trial, which gives us more influence. Oh, there's two more things. Excuse me, I have to do a story event. Um... You signed off on the use of deadly force against protesters. Your family is not all that keen on talking to you tonight. Well, sorry. I was trying to protect people. I didn't know it was going to go into an all-out, like, warfare. But I guess I probably should have known that. But I didn't want them to shoot just because people were yelling. I only wanted them to shoot to protect them from, you know, stringing people up. That didn't seem to have worked out too well. Burrell and the riot. 
Yeah. We're on the right. Let's go. Accept, please. There. Okay. It's working. Liberté. Day five. Yeah, don't have a lot of, uh, we only have one influence point, and the people don't like us that much. Yeah, we have negative 12 with the revolutionaries, so we might have to start doing what the revolutionaries want. Like, imprisoning, um, imprisoning our friend Burrell here. Your family wants him to kill him. The common folk want you to kill him. Oh, excuse me, return, please. But this is the commander of the guard, right? That shot at people? Revolutionaries want him just imprisoned. Everyone else wants him dead. Apparently we know Roland and Elliot now. Don't know who those people are, but whatever. But yeah, if we... If we anger the revolutionaries anymore, it may be game over for us. And if we anger the common folk a lot, it may be game over for us. It may just be game over for us, honestly. We may have reached that point very early in the series that we're just done. Um, at which point I won't know what to do at that point. Um, but I guess we'll go ahead and end the episode here before this trial. So, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you again next time.